had to be creative. It's been really different. Um, you know, this summer, not having our guys on campus um, for an extended period of time. We did a lot of Zoom meetings, a lot of Zoom film, a lot of, uh, a lot of workouts, um, you know, via talking through it and them having to go, go at home and, and kind of put themselves through it. So it's been, it's been, uh, it's been an interesting process, but I think it's been, it's been, uh, it's been good the way we've handled it. Oh man, off season we've been working really hard. You know, uh, you know it's hard with everything going on. Uh, try to get work in, especially if you were at home. It's hard to find a gym and find uh, just the weight room and everything. But when we got here, we just got straight to work. We put it in work. Uh, I feel like it's really gonna pay off. Yeah, absolutely. Like you said, it was a very different off season for us being at home, um, getting last year's school year uh, cut short, having to be sent home and. Um, a lot of us had, you know, our high schools or gyms closed and weight rooms, so it was kind of hard to find spots initially. But our coaches helped us a lot with that, and we were able to, uh, I think all of us, find good spots to work out while we were home for the long period. And uh, also during that period, we had a lot of Zoom calls, FaceTimes, a lot of contact with each other individually. That was important just to keep team chemistry going. And it was very different for the freshmen. They didn't get a summer school here to be training and get to know, get acclimated to Wofford. And so we had to all communicate and, and, and talk to them what it would be like, um, share insight uh, prior to getting on campus even. So um, I think we all had a really good off season though, being able to train on our own. Yeah, it's uh, for the freshmen, it's more different than any freshman class in the past. You know, typically you come here in the summer, you get, uh, you get time to get acclimated to classes, things are less stressful, but for this year, this freshman class, they've had to come in and it's, you know, it's been full go with, you know, workouts and classes all, all from the get-go. But I think, I mean, they've handled it really well. Um, we got four really mature incoming freshmen and, um, and a transfer from uh, BJ Mack from South Florida that have all handled it really well. Yeah, that process has been awesome, actually. Um, being able to have uh, that veteran voice on the team now, um, that leadership uh, with some new freshmen coming in who are really, really talented and uh, have, you know, great work ethics and are smart guys. And so it's been awesome to have them asking questions and to be able to teach them here little little things that are gonna help them in the long run. Um, they've all been sponges, asking questions, really soaking it all in. And so uh, I've loved that aspect of um, being able to teach a little bit. And um, yeah, it's been fun. They're great guys. Uh, just pushing them to their fullest. You know, we all have a responsibility. And, uh, we've been pushing each other really hard. You know, and uh, the, poten the freshman has high potentials, like Nick, uh, Sam, Max, Keaton, their potentials are so high. So we just want to push them to their fullest so we can get the full result. You know, we're a team who is familiar with the championship game, familiar with Asheville. And so um, even after, after going on a seven game losing streak last year, you know, we, we made it to the championship. And even though we fell short, uh, I think it, a lot of that was uh, due to our belief um, from what our coaches were teaching us and telling us throughout the whole year, despite losing some games, uh, we all believed what they were saying about how good we are and how um, how winning of a team we are and how we're going to win. Yeah, I mean, it's exciting. I mean, you got you got guys like, you know, Storm, Ryan, Trey, who have all been part of a championship team here. And we're we're adding in a lot of younger, you know, less experienced, but but some talented guys into the mix. So, you know, I think, you know, coach has been preaching and, and I think the message has been the team that sticks together and handles things in a mature way. and and attacks um, adversity, which every team is going to go through. You know, they've either already gone through or will go through this season with it being so different. That, that's the team that's ultimately going to win this deal. And uh, we, we feel like we got the pieces to do that.